What is going on guys? Nick Belletto here, back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my three-step process that I go through when buying new supplements. So recently, for the last two months or so, twice a week, I've been covering a new supplement on my Instagram page, which if you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, you should definitely go check it out. Put a ton of good information out there for you guys covering different supplements. However, I never really talked about how to actually go out and find supplements for yourselves. So in the last four or five years that I've been using supplements pretty regularly, I've tried a wide variety of different supplements and I've come up with a pretty solid three-step process to go through to decide whether or not I should actually buy a product. Step one in this process is going to be going on examine.com. So examine.com is a website that has a meta-analysis of basically every supplement and supplement ingredient that you could possibly want to use or want to find out more information about. And the great thing about Examine is that they're totally not biased, they're not associated with any supplement companies, they're not trying to push any supplements down your throat, and almost all, if not all, of the information is completely free to you. And it's super user friendly, so it's very easy to navigate the website. I would definitely start with examine.com. Start by just searching whatever ingredient you might be interested in. So if you consult a lot of my Instagram posts, I have a lot of ingredients, especially when we're talking about pre-workout ingredient profiles. If you check out my posts on pre-workouts, you'll see a bunch of different ingredients listed there. That would be a great place to start if you're in the market for a new pre-workout. However, if you're in the market for a different type of supplement, a lot of times you can just go on examine and look up that specific kind of supplement. For example, fish oils might be something that you might want to look into. So you can just go on examine, look up fish oils, and it'll give you everything that you could want to know about fish oils and more, both the positives, the negatives, and other. So my step number two is once you kind of have an ingredient profile that you're interested in for a particular supplement, I would go out and then find a supplement that has those ingredients in it. So if you're interested in a pre-workout that has some of those pump products that I talked about on my Instagram page, a great thing to do is on bodybuilding.com, you can actually look at supplements by the ingredients. So if there are very specific ingredients that you're interested in, you can actually put those as search filters and then find supplements that might have those ingredients in them. So, step one, use examine.com to figure out what ingredients you wanna use or to research further certain types of supplements. Step two is find a supplement that matches the ingredient profile that you're interested in or just the kind of supplement that you're interested in that you research using examine.com. And step three is then to go on labdoor.com. So this is a website that I talked about quite a bit on my Instagram. It's also the newest step in this three-step process. So I always kind of did steps one and two, but I have now taken it a step further to step three, which is using Labdoor. So what Labdoor actually does is it reviews specific supplements and it talks about the efficacy, the dosing, um, whether or not a specific supplement is worth the price and a couple of other factors as well. So Labdoor does things like protein powders, for example. So if you're interested in a certain protein powder and you're looking for a really solid ingredient profile that is also worth the price, Labdoor is the perfect place to look. Certain protein powders might be really cheap per unit price. However, the protein may not be super high quality. Some protein powders may be extremely high quality, but they may not be worth all that money that you're paying for them. Another great example of these are some of those general health supplements that I talked about. So things like fish oils and probiotics. The supplements like these tend to vary greatly on how well they will actually work for you. And you'll see also that they vary greatly in price. So I can walk into a Walmart right now and get a fish oil supplement for $12. And is that $12 fish oil supplement actually going to have great benefit for me? My guess is that it probably won't. However, there are fish oil supplements on the market that may cost me $80 or $90, and are they that much better that they're worth the price? 
Maybe not. Labdoor is a great place to consult in order to figure out that information. So that's it guys, those are my three steps. It's pretty simple and easy to figure out whether a supplement is right for you. Start with examine.com, look into ingredients, look into the supplement that you're interested in purchasing. After that, then go find the actual supplement itself that matches the ingredient profile that you're interested in. And then finally, consult labdoor.com to figure out whether or not a supplement is what it says it is. I hope that you guys found this video informative and helpful, and I hope to see you in the next video.